Greetings. This is the General of the Armies, Vincent Diaz Jr. I'm in a severe, severe chemical weapon gas attack. Uh, it's, it started to happen regularly at this electric outlet I use. Um, I've checked the news. It's, it's more important that I push forward and through this to get this news message through. So um, here we go. This is a communique for Vladimir Putin. Attention to all world leaders, CC all stakeholders, BCC, probably just I and you who want to live by this way of life as far as being human beings. Well, I still hold some hope. Like once upon a time, I knew some really, really, really special ladies who, who made me promise to love them forever, who became my virgin wives, who may have died virgins, as I've been a virgin forever, who may be these characters in the media, who up until some more recently, up until like 1990, there were plenty of really lovely ladies, humans in the media, who, who made us believe we could live a life of loving love and stuff, like it existed. As um, my, my wives may, may be represented in the media uh, by like Joan Jed and Pat Benatar and Hart, and the one I have confirmation I can remember losing, I shoved her off to run into my house that was basically my mill in its lockdown state. Uh, had agreed that when eminent domain clauses made us uh, uh, um, a married couple by her living in my house so long, um, she was she is the one I remember that way. To the news, the New York Post, eight hours ago, Russia takes control of Severodonetsk, Ukraine, CNN. Ukrainian city of Severodonetsk now completely under Russian occupation after dot 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 eight hours ago Wall Street Journal ten hours ago outgunned Ukrainian forces work to avoid becoming surrounded in Donbass Al Jazeera English three hours ago fall of Severodonetsk in Russia's biggest victory since Mariupol the Guardian 11 hours ago, Shanghai reports no new COVID cases for first time since March. In the picture, it looks like they're doing a COVID swab, and finally they have a protection barrier, like a, a gloved arm uh, through a, a barrier wall, being like that uh, nuclear power plant thing I was talking about. The Guardian six hours ago, Ecuador at standstill after two weeks of protests over cost of living crisis. New York Post two hours ago, Russian ally Belarus unleashes rocket air strike into northern Ukraine. This is why I decided I have to I have to get this through immediately. New York Post two hours ago, Russian ally Belarus unleashes rocket air strike into northern Ukraine. Some other news, like you like Russia has supplied them with weapons that were nuclear capable. I saw, but not in this order. CNN two hours ago. Biden arrives in Europe to keep allies united against Russia as a grinding war in Ukraine takes its toll. The Hill, seven hours ago, Biden heads to Europe amid domestic woes. AP, six hours ago, Biden's mission in Europe, shore up alliance against Russia. Reuters.com, Ukraine is already using U.S. supplied rocket systems in conflict, top general says. The New York Times, two hours ago, a new task for Biden, readying allies for a long conflict in Ukraine. I think this is ABC News, 14 hours ago, Biden looks overseas for ways to ease economic pressures at home. Reuters.com, 12 hours ago, Ukraine is already using U.S. supplied rocket systems in conflict, top general says. U.S. supplied HIMARS rocket systems are already working and hitting targets in Russian occupied dot 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 Southeast Missourian yesterday. U.S. sending advanced rocket systems, other aid to Ukraine. Germany pushes for G7 reversal on fossil fuels in climate below. 14 hours ago, Bloomberg. Reuters.com, two hours ago. Putin promises Belarus nuclear capable missiles to counter aggressive West. 
Russian President Vladimir Putin on Saturday told his counterpart from Belarus that Moscow would supply Minsk with missile systems capable of carrying dot dot dot. Russia, Reuters.com yesterday, Russia says EU candidate status for Ukraine, Moldova, will have negative consequences. June 24th, Reuters, Russia on Friday said the decision by European Union leaders to accept Ukraine and Moldova, dot, dot, dot. The Wall Street Journal yesterday, as Europe opens door to Ukraine nearby, Georgia falls from favor. The Washington Post opinion yesterday, opinion, Europe's youngest democracy is a new front in the U.S.-Russia battle of ideas. K-I-O-N yesterday, Ukraine's EU hopes get shot in the arm as blocks leaders approve candidate status, dash K-L dot dot dot. Bloomberg yesterday, Ukraine takes next step on path to EU membership. Al Jazeera English four hours ago, thousands of protesters arrive as G7 convenes in Germany. ABC News five hours ago, mass same-sex wedding in Mexico challenges discrimination. Reuters 22 hours ago, U.S. Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and United Kingdom form Pacific Group. Yahoo News 11 hours ago, video appears to show the dramatic moment a Russian missile boomerangs and plunges to Earth. Reuters.com 15 hours ago, Beijing to reopen schools, Shanghai declares victory over COVID. Uh, Shanghai, Beijing, June 25, Reuters. Beijing on Saturday said it would allow primary and secondary schools to resume in-person classes and Shanghai's top dot dot dot. The Washington Post 10 hours ago in Africa, Eastern Europe battles Russian narrative on Ukraine. CNN yesterday, Nigerian senator and wife charged with plotting to get child to UK to harvest organs. Reuters.com, six hours ago, Russia is conducting covert mobilization campaign, Ukraine spy chief says, Kiev, June 25, Reuters, Russia is using its reserve forces in a covert mobilization to replenish its ranks, I, dot, 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 Yahoo News, 14 hours ago, Ukrainian defenders destroy one Russian Su-25 attack aircraft, Eight armored combat vehicles and an ammunition depot. Yahoo Finance yesterday. Russia is days away from a historic debt default as a $100 million payment comes due with Moscow cut off from the global financial system. Al Jazeera English yesterday. Kaliningrad standoff could reveal if Russia wants to escalate. BBC 21 hours ago, Billy English protests against U.S. abortion ruling at Glastonbury. The New York Times yesterday, U.S.-led alliance face frustration over Russia's sanctions. CNN yesterday, Biden administration to compensate some Havana syndrome victims up to $187,000. The Times of Israel yesterday, attacker stabs two policemen outside Tunisia synagogue. The Guardian yesterday, Germany scraps Nazi era law that barred doctors abortion ads. The Times of Israel 23 hours ago, Jordan's king says Ukraine war exposes need for Middle East NATO. The Guardian yesterday, my career is finished, my friends are in prison and I'm an alien in my city. Life after Hong Kong's Apple Daily. CNN yesterday. Japan says Chinese Coast Guard ships in longest violation of its territorial waters in a decade. ABC News yesterday. Russian military cargo plane crashes, killing five crew members. Yahoo News nine hours ago. Trophies made from human skulls hint at regional conflicts around the time of Maya civilization's mysterious collapse. The Times of Israel, six hours ago, 
Iranian guards replace commander of unit that protects Supreme Leader Khamenei. CNN, 23 hours ago, 7th century Anglo-Saxon ship will sail England's rivers once again. New York Post, 7 hours ago, how the melting Arctic could lead to huge riches, but also a world war. New York Post, 10 hours ago, Hunter Biden met with Russian oligarch now wanted for murder. Uh, Peacock Tail News, two hours ago, off-duty Rhode Island officer running for state senate accused of attacking opponent at abortion rally. The New York Times, five hours ago, agents are blocked from using discretion in deportation arrests. CBS News, six hours ago, Biden signs bipartisan gun control bill into law. Fox News, nine hours ago, Biden signs gun control bill in wake of deadly mass shootings. Lives will be saved. The Associated Press and Espanol, 11 hours ago, to some defenders, gun ruling could right a racial wrong. Yahoo News, seven hours ago, California offers blueprint for states affected by Supreme Court gun ruling. New York Times, local coverage eight hours ago, opinion, the Supreme Court puts gun rights above the human life. New York Post, one hour ago, Disney employee rips company over vow to pay abortion travel costs. The Verge, yesterday, here's Google's letter saying employees can relocate to states with abortion rights. CNN, eight hours ago, these U.S. companies will cover travel costs for employees who need an abortion. Bloomberg opinion yesterday. Supreme Court abortion ruling. Can companies still cover travel costs? Uh, 925 Google 23 hours ago. Google tells employees they can relocate without justification in wake of Supreme Court. Dot, dot, dot. Fox Business 22 hours ago. Patagonia to pay bail for employees arrested protesting Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade decision. Dot, dot, dot. Peacock Tail News 59 minutes ago. Supreme Court abortion ruling touches off second day of raucous protests nationwide. Fox News 16 hours ago. Arizona abortion protest. Police released tear gas. Lawmakers held hostage in Senate building. Dot, dot, dot. ABC 15 Arizona in Phoenix. Three hours ago. DPS. 7,000 plus protesters marched near Arizona Capitol. Property. Memorials damaged. Richmond Times Dispatch. 20 hours ago. Richmond residents march for reproductive rights. Richmond local news, richmond.com. Uh, 37 minutes ago. Something, 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 something. Demonstrators gather in downtown Atlanta following role reversal. Fox News, 13 hours ago. Protests erupt across U.S. after Supreme Court reverses Roe v. Wade. Washington Post, five hours ago, Supreme Court ruling puts Florida DeSantis at center of abortion battle. New York Post, yesterday, hospital workers throw premature baby girl out with soiled linen. The Hill, five hours ago, Whitmer files motion asking state Supreme Court to quickly take up lawsuit over abortion rights. The Peacock Tail News, 23 hours ago. Abortion clinics close immediately. Scramble to move up appointments as row ends. The Washington Post, 19 hours ago. We're done. 
Chaos and tears as an abortion clinic abruptly shuts down. Their attacks finally got through. They, they, they just went ahead and cyber espionaged me. KVUE.com yesterday. AG Ken Paxton announces agency hollow holiday. AG Ken Paxton announces agency holiday following Roe v. Wade decision. Ron, 19 hours ago, Beto O'Rourke joins over 1,000 people gathered in Houston to protest abortion ruling, dot, dot, dot. Uh, LobachOnline.com, three hours ago, Lobach leaders react to Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe v. Wade. KTRK TV, 18 hours ago, Roe v. Wade. Houston doctors fear rise in maternal mortality without abortion protection, dot, dot, dot. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin announces it's temporarily suspending abortion services after SCOTUS, Supreme Court of the United States ruling eight hours ago, the Hill. The New York Times, 14 hours ago, century-old state laws could determine where abortion is legal. TMJ4 News, video yesterday, Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, what this means for women in Wisconsin. Star Tribune, three hours ago, the abortion ban looms large in Wisconsin and the Dakotas. Wisconsin Public Radio, 13 hours ago, Wisconsin doctors scramble to understand abortion care post Roe v. Wade. Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, 13 hours ago, Illinois, Minnesota, prepare for influx of Wisconsin abortion patients. The Washington Post, 23 hours ago, abortion rights advocates fear access to birth control could be curtailed. USA Today, yesterday, Supreme Court ruling on Miranda weekend civil rights activists say. CNN, five hours ago, Miranda rights, abortion, Second Amendment, these are the cases, the Supreme dot dot dot. The Hill yesterday, Latino voters in battleground states back gun reform and abortion access poll says. NPR yesterday, the future of Miranda rights. The internet reacts to the end of Roe v. Wade here and now. Newsweek two days ago, Supreme Court's Miranda rights decision ripped by lawmakers, legal experts. San Francisco Chronicle two, hour, two days ago, Supreme Court dramatically scales back Miranda ruling requiring police to inform suspects dot, dot, dot. CNBC yesterday, Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade will financially hurt the most marginalized women, experts say. The Washington Post two days ago, federal agents searched home of Trump Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark. The New York Post yesterday, Donald Trump official Jeffrey Clark accuses feds of Stasi-like home raid. The Hill yesterday, former Trump DOJ Department of Justice official Jeffrey Clark to Tucker Carlson. FBI raid on home was Stasi dash dot dot dot. Reuters.com yesterday, ex-Trump Justice Department Official Clark confirms law enforcement raid of his home. KSL.com two days ago. Fed search Trump era officials home. Subpoena GOP leaders. The Daily Beast yesterday. Jeffrey Clark whines to Tucker. I don't recognize the country. The Washington Post 20 hours ago. Bring rifles. Extremist groups call for violence over abortion ruling. 
CNN yesterday, Biden administration set to announce comprehensive plan to overhaul maternal health care. World Health Organization, three hours ago, meeting of the International Health Regulations 2005 Emergency Committee regarding the multi-country dot 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 news one hour ago. It's the Peacock Tail News. WHO, World Health Organization, declares monkeypox a public health emergency. Live source eight hours ago. Monkeypox may have undergone accelerated evolution, scientists say. NPR, 14 hours ago. Monkeypox outbreak in U.S. is bigger than the CDC reports. Testing is abysmal. Uh, the Epic Times, nine hours ago. New monkeypox study holds possible clue to fast spread of virus. Fox News, nine hours ago. Monkeypox mutating more than previously thought, researchers say. New York Post, yesterday. Monkeypox mutates at unprecedented rate with accelerated evolution, study finds. Live source eight hours ago, monkeypox may have undergone accelerated evolution, scientists say. The conversation yesterday, monkeypox may not mutate as fast as coronavirus, but that doesn't mean it can't dot dot dot. C-I-D-R-A-P yesterday, virus causing monkeypox outbreak has mutated to spread easier. CNN yesterday, CDC says gay and bi men in Florida need the meningococca vaccine to keep them safe in worst outbreak in U.S. history. The Epic Times yesterday, CDC investigating large ongoing outbreak of rare disease in Florida. Fox 35, Orlando, six hours ago. CDC touts vaccine for gay men for Florida meningitis surge. The uh, Bay News 9 yesterday. Deadly form of meningitis outbreak in Florida kills 12. CNN, uh, same story here. Axios 10 hours ago. Meningococcal disease outbreak reported in Florida. News something yesterday. CDC continues investigation of meningococcal disease outbreak among yeah, da, da, da. IFL science yesterday. A meningococcal disease outbreak is killing gay and bi men in Florida. SciTech Daily yesterday. New research COVID 19 vaccine saved 20 million lives worldwide in the first year. Daily Mail yesterday, New York City Clinic offering monkeypox vaccine to gay and bi men forced to close due to overwhelming demand. Uh, yesterday, COVID-19 positive patients at higher risk of developing neurodegenerative disorders, new study shows. Science alert two days ago, polio virus has been detected in London sewage. The Yorkshire Post local coverage 14 hours ago. Polio. Yorkshire parents urged to vaccinate babies as figures show almost 1 in 10 is, uh, is, 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 is dot dot dot. Uh, first post yesterday. Pakistan comes under scrutiny as UK detects polio virus after four decades. Daily Mail yesterday. Polio confusion as parents can't tell if their children have been vaccinated. The Indian Express yesterday. PAC comes under scrutiny as UK detects polio virus after four decades. NDTV yesterday. UK on polio alert. What you need to know about the disease. Ars Technica yesterday, pig heart transplant failure. Doctors detail everything that went wrong. Age and sex specific risks of myocarditis and pericarditis following 
COVID-19, messenger RNA, the dot, 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 I think that's vaccine, 16 hours ago, nature.com, cases of myocarditis and pericarditis have been reported following the receipt of COVID-19, M dot, 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 the Peacock Tail News, 14 hours ago, the abortion pill may treat dozens of diseases, but role reversal might upend research. Right Neuroscience news yesterday. Study argues developmental dyslexia essential to human adaptive success. BBC yesterday. Norfolk. Control zone created while officials test for disease in pigs. Neuroscience news two days ago. A surprising link between immune system and hair growth. Neuroscience news two days ago. Travel therapy. Could a vacation help mental health and well-being? Gizmodo, nine hours ago. NASA hopes to launch a very special microwave-sized satellite on Monday. CNN yesterday. Artemis 1 rocket Paris for late August launch to the moon. NASA yesterday. NASA completes wet dress rehearsal, moves forward toward launch. ARS Techno Technica 11 hours ago. New bacterium roughly the size shape of an eyelash smashes size record. Uh, Space.com 13 hours ago. Artemis 1 moon mission could launch as soon as late August. NASA Spaceflight.com yesterday. SLS readies for rollback to VAB. Final launch preparations to begin. NASA Spaceflight.com. Axis Axios 9 hours ago. Scientists discover world's largest known bacteria Honolulu star advertiser yesterday world's biggest bacterium found in Caribbean mangrove swamp Geo News yesterday Newly discovered bacterium is 50 times larger than other known giant bacteria. Genetic engineering and biotechnology news yesterday. Bacterium with organelles discovered challenges microbial paradigms. Science alert two hours, two, science alert two days ago. A giant sunspot doubled in size in 24 hours and it's pointing right at Earth. SciTech Daily yesterday, experimental discovery of a tetra-neutron in exotic state of matter. Tesla Rati yesterday, SpaceX installs super heavy booster on launch mount with giant robot arms. Space.com yesterday. Harmful pig poop lagoons in North Carolina mapped from space. Uh, yesterday. Octopus brain and human brain share the same jumping genes. Yesterday. New study solves long standing mystery of what may have triggered Ice Age. Space News two hours ago. One web to resume launches in fourth quarter. Science alert yesterday. Life has been found in a low oxygen, super salty, sub zero Arctic spring. Daily Mail yesterday. Incredible footage shows 12,000 mile plasma tornado erupting from the surface of the sun. Mashable, five hours ago, Google warns of hermit spyware infecting Android and iOS devices. 
Fox Business yesterday. Amazon's Alexa may mimic voices of dead people, make memories last. 15 hours ago, Grandma's voice from Amazon's Alexa is freaking out the internet. Gizmodo yesterday, cool. Apple's AR augmented reality headset will be its most complicated product ever and it's coming soon. The Verge yesterday, Microsoft prepares to forget about Windows 8.1 with end of support notifications. IGN yesterday, SSD solid state drive versus HDD uh, something drive. What's the best type of PC storage? IGN. Uh, 12 hours ago, AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D 3D Vcache CPU runs cooler after being delitted. I was thinking of an experiment to actually use these as heaters because the mark has been so smited out of any sort of heater. You, you might be able to use with a battery or something. Any sort of heater nearly. 13 hours ago, Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus Destroyer 2 offers 64 terabyte of premium PCIe Gen 4 SSD storage in a monstrous AIC package worth over 16,000 US dollars. The Verge yesterday, Samsung's monstrous 55 inch Odyssey Arc monitor could go on sale in August. The Verge yesterday saved 25% on the Thermocell mosquito repellent system. Yesterday, what do you get when a Raspberry Pi Pico flashes a Nintendo 64? Yesterday, BMW M confirms there is another special car launching this year. Yesterday, adding USB-C to an iPhone 13 is delicate work. ESA, made of people. A group uh, photo, a group photo of about a thousand ESA personnel as seen from around 700 kilometers up in space by the Pleiade. Da, da, da. Yesterday, Pixel 7 Pro prototype seemingly confirmed some specs, reveals new details. 14 hours ago, Rufus 3.19 adds bypass for mandatory Windows 11 22H2 Microsoft account requirement. 15 hours ago, getting serial data out of an old spectral photometer. Yesterday, Gizmodo, a camera that sees vibrations can record the sounds of multiple instruments separately. Uh, we're starting to have our tracks separate on the radio here with this special God's work of our classic commie rock and classic rock here. Two days ago, AWS, Amazon Web Services, I believe, sent a snow cone to space. That might be something like Android snow cone or something. Yesterday, Google Stadia, Google Stadia is preparing to support servers with NVIDIA GPUs. Three hours ago, Pfizer's Omicron targeting COVID-19 vaccines generate stronger immune response. Twelve hours ago, CNBC, every new passenger car sold in the world will be electric by 2040, says ExxonMobil CEO Darren Woods. Twelve hours ago, CBS Fox contracts with NFL will prevent significant reduction in price of Sunday ticket. New York Post yesterday, Cadillac's new electric luxury sedan might cost $300,000. Yesterday, parts of green orange lines to remain shut indefinitely amid structural issues at Government Center Garage, it's the Boston Globe. Insider, 12 hours ago. Daily harvest lentils. Woman was hospitalized, fears liver damage after eating. Yesterday, the world's most powerful wind turbine will make its debut in Scotland. Yesterday, 
Netflix confirms the inevitable ads are coming. Yesterday, pilots in line for big raises amid global travel disruptions. Yesterday, Toyota recalls all electric BZ4X over wheels falling off. Yesterday, spurred by row overturn, senators seek FTC probe of iOS and Android tracking. Yesterday, Polestar shares rise in electric vehicle makers market debut. Yesterday, summer yesterday Sumner tunnel to remain open this weekend amid MBTA street closures out of Boston yesterday SCOTUS Supreme Court of the United States gun ruling expected to have positive impact on Smith and Wesson 14 hours ago Georgia power seeks rate hike of nearly 12 percent over three years Yesterday, Musk cites Tesla bankruptcy fears wants you to know something big. Twelve hours ago, world's number one defense contractor Lockheed Martin is out of hypersonic interceptor program race. Yesterday, Chevron to relocate head office within California sell existing HQ headquarters. Yesterday, Warren Buffett likely to acquire all of Occidental Petroleum Truist. Yesterday, Elon tells Twitter he needs more data. Twitter gives it to him. We had a misspelling of more on that one. 23 hours ago, Fed's Dolly is prepared to back another 0.75 percentage point rate high, hike. Two days ago, Bay Area Energy Bar Company sells for $2.9 billion. It's the Cliff Bar News. Yesterday, New York Post. Costco sued over alleged inhuman treatment of chickens. Two days ago, billionaire Mark Cuban reacts to praise for cheap online pharmacy. We are just getting started. I think this is a that's about it. Um, you know, you know, President Putin, God, King, world leaders. I wish you would just nuclear strike this place endlessly, but within reason, um, to stop these marauding murderers. There's no way to explain what's going on here except sort of like a Terminator movie. Like all these all these humans here are not humans. They're they're Terminators these days. Um, and you need to strike like in the Terminator. Like I've been putting this together from our old strike videos of like our original Nevada strike series and the Terminator movies. You, know, you need to strike every time we need you to strike. Or we need you all to be struck so we can get our strikes right. Such that if I'm not the only one in the city state, you strike and turn them to ash. And with what you might have just seen with I going through the strike they have on I. I'll be in better conditions. If you could just blow the strong wind that in the movies they turn to ash and blow apart in, to I, it will be a lifting of my suffering because it will move the attack strike weapon off of I. With all this traffic and uh, false facade building being stuffed directly um, controllable by our old strikes in these videos, where you can blow out all the glass and evaporate it, deconstructing it, annihilating it to keep us all safe. Then you can blow all the cars smashed in and rip their roofs off, especially the buses and fake security vehicles. You can stop them from being functional and drop down the roadways. You can blow apart these false facades, at least in our specification videos I was watching recently. And we can check if they were hollow or our old stuff was in there. You know, you need to be prepared to do this at any point I tell you to. But at basically, at any point after you've done one of these, and in any way, shape, or form, 
anything that we've destroyed, like we've destroyed all of it here, like I've just listed to be destroyed, is here again in any way you strike again. We need this, or you all need, to cease existing by strikes like this. And I, don't, I know that's not you, President Putin. I don't know what your, your Sarmat Satan system is. But at some point, we have to control this violent situation with violent force. And today I was just working over what a beautiful joy it would be to be in that Terminator scene in Terminator 2 at the playground with the uh, abilities I have where all these marauding, inbreeding, rapist, murdering monsters that are basically Terminators but just just, just Christian sort of things to, to turn ashes to ashes and dust to dust can be scarce and burned and turned to ash and blown away.